Hey there. This is uh, just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the get component, set property, and get property actions. Uh, what I got set up here is a scene uh, to experiment with the new light shaft script from Unity. Uh, it's a volumetric light shaft script you just put onto a spotlight or a directional light and it creates light shafts. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to play around with it and uh, show you how to use. Uh, the set property actions to do things with it and change it at runtime. First thing we need to do to directly, just the simplest way to use the uh, set property action would be to uh, affect something in the scene. So we just make a new FSM, set property, and you drag and drop the scripts into here or unless you have an object component you can pick from the list but if you want to drag and drop something from the scene you have to change the object you got selected and that changes your FSM view so it makes it kinda of hard to drag from the inspector if it's on a different object just lock the scene view it's a button right here between between uh, the FSM selection and the select button and it'll lock your editor view to the FSM you currently have selected Now I can just click whatever I want and the FSM is not going anywhere. After you've locked it, you can then go to your point light or directional light or spotlight or whatever it is, find the script, and then just drag it right on over. Once you drop it in, it picks up what it is, and you can begin editing the public variables. This isn't going to happen until runtime, so that's why it's blank but I still have access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and make me a GUI slider and a variable to f fill it with. Just call it test. Pick the variable there. Change that top value to 30 so it doesn't look like the sun on my screen. And put it somewhere I can actually use it. There, that should be good. Now I'll tell set property to also use that same variable and to work every frame. And that should let me change the brightness of that script. That's pretty darn cool. And that's how easy it is to use set property. <coughs> so what if I wanted to make an explosion and volumetric light was coming out of this spotlight or something and animating its brightness value on a on a float. That'd be pretty cool looking. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we can't interact with it directly in the scene here, the scene hierarchy. So we won't be able to drag and drop it. We'll have to use get component. First we'll make a uh, prefab, which I've already got here. But I can just drag and drop this spotlight in here. delete the old one. Okay. Now on this FSM I'm going to make a new state, set it to start, and I'm going to do create object. I want to create me point light. I want it to spawn here and I want the rotation to be this. And then I want to store it in a game object variable. Call it Mr. Light. Put Mr. Light right there. Now it'll be created. Okay. After it's created I want to get the script. So I add a get component variable or action. Specify that I want to get Mr. Light. And there's no components here, so we'll make a new one. We'll just make a new object. Call it Mr. Light Stuff. Now, after you create that object, you have to identify that you're looking for a particular script on that object, so We'll go ahead and pick light shafts from this 
drop down menu here. And then whatever object it's targeting, it knows that it's looking for the light shaft script. Okay. Put Mr. Light Stuff right there. And then that should be it. It'll store the component doing that. We'll hit play and watch. There it is. So, the light's created. The script is now stored. You can see right there. It's kind of grayed out. It might be kind of hard to see. But the script is stored in this Mr. Light stuff variable. So now we can make use of that. So we'll go ahead and transition to the next state. The next state is using set property. There's no target yet because we deleted our old scene object. So we'll just use a variable and pick Mr. Light stuff. It knows it's going to be a light shaft script variable because that's what it's looking for to be stored. We define that in this component variable here when we chose it off this drop down. So in the set property, we'll just tell it we want to get the brightness. And we want to set the brightness to the test variable. And we want to do it every frame. Now the GUI slider should still work. Shazam! Now we've got an object that we created at runtime with a totally unique script with a totally random variable that we can manipulate with a GUI slider in less than five minutes. Well, really, if you if you did this without watching the tutorial, you could probably set it up in 30 seconds. So it's pretty easy to use. Once you understand, you know, just how to store the component and then pick the variable out of it, it's not that bad. Now if I wanted to, you know, do something else with that value. I could, I could make an animated float. Do something crazy. Put it on a loop. And then it'll just sit there and loop. Neat. You can just hear the explosion, can't you? It's incredible. Blows your mind. Well, maybe not yet. We're still working on it. That's basically how it works. Once you get the variable, you can do whatever you want with it like you would manipulating any other variable in Playmaker. But the root is get component. So you'll tell it what object you're going to look for the variable on. Then you're going to tell it to store it in some object variable. When you specify that object variable, you have to tell it what script to look for. And it's going to be in this list. Every single script in the whole project is going to be listed here, inclu including all of the Unity, you know, base stuff. Well, you've got all your components. You could pull unique variables out of lights, uh, just standard Unity lights, if you didn't have a specific action for them, you know. So there's a lot of flexibility, but you can just pick the light shaft script out of here and it'll put it right into this variable for later use so that's how that basically works have fun with it